Hey guys, it's Tiffany from Super Easy Math. Today's math problem of the day says factor. We have x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0. Well, when I factor, I want to remember that I'm going to put my two binomials in parentheses. And I want to look at that last digit. And I want to say, hmm, what two numbers can I multiply together to get? And there's several options here. We got 1 times 6. And we also have the negative version of that, which would be negative one times negative six. You gotta remember when you multiply negatives, you can get a positive. So whatever two combination numbers give you six is what we need to use here. We could also use two times three or negative two times negative three. Now you want to decide, hmm, what's gonna go into the last position in both of my sets of parentheses? Well, first of all, I know we're not gonna end up using either of the negative sets this time because when you do that, Typically, you're gonna have a negative somewhere in the problem, okay? In this case, everything's positive, so I know everything's just gonna remain positive. But if this was like a minus 5x, I would be more consider a negative number. But because everything's positive, I know that it's just gonna be positive. So I just cross those two off my list. So now I can just kind of plug and play to put numbers in to see what's gonna work. Let's see if I put the one in and six in, or maybe the two and the three. Well, I'm gonna start off with the two and three, keep both of the signs here positive and just add an X. I'm just guessing to see if this is gonna work. So I need to foil first, outer, inner, last, or I actually like to think of it as just distributing twice because when I try to remember all the acronyms, I'm like, that's confusing. So I say the X is gonna be distributed here and then here here and then the two is going to be distributed here and then here so that's way simpler to me to think of it then so when I take that X and multiply it by the other X I get X squared and then when I take that X and multiply it by the three I get three X and then when I take the two and multiply it by the X I get two X and then when I take the two and multiply it by the three I get six now I'm gonna combine like terms and in this case that's only the two center terms and I have 3x plus 2x, which gives me 5x and then plus 6. So it looks like the factors of 2 and 3 were correct because I ended up getting this original problem back, which was the x squared plus 5x plus 6. So that means it worked. So to answer the question, it's like, what are the factors of that? I would say x plus 2 and x plus 3. Here's tomorrow's math problem of the day. See if you can solve it before I do, but don't forget to head over to Super Easy Math where you can get my top five math tips to make learning math easy.